Hey guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel and to this what I've warmed this week video. So it does look quite a bit this week, but there are three lots of mixes. Um, so that's kind of added a few extra bars into the mix, literally. So I'm going to start with the non scenty wax. Um, so I warmed through some bed homes and gardens fall into autumn, and this is a really nice. Is it, yeah, fall into autumn. This is a really nice one, um, and it's acorns, green apple, apple wood, red cedar, leaves, and pear. That's a really nice one. Really nice for this time of year. And then on a similar vein, bed homes and gardens, Chris fall leaves. Um, I think this is a bit stronger than falling to autumn. So this is apple, leaves, balsam, berry, vanilla, spice and ambered woods. And again, it's kind of perfect for this time of year. Those two I had in the bathroom, I think. So then I will, um, yeah, I'll do the mixes now. So one I did was a cheerful celebration, which is a bright and bubbly jubilee um, of sparkling lemon, juicy pineapple and tart raspberry, which I mixed with Disney's Totally Mini, which is part classy and part sassy. This sweet blend of pink melon, hibiscus blooms and juicy apple is full of fun and totally mini. Which on its own, I'm not, I don't know, it's quite light. Um, not, yeah, it's a bit, to me, it's a bit generic. Um, it's not like a real standout-ish scent to me. But mixed with Cheerful Celebration was, it was a really nice combo. And I probably will now use this combo. Um, I actually had quite fancy trying this with Mahalo Coconut, which I think I do still have some left. Yes, I do. Um, so yeah, that was a good combination. Then as one I just touched upon, uh, Mahalo Coconut, which on its own, I don't find very strong. So that's Paradise is only a whiff away with floral Hawaiian Lei and Violet over fruity fresh pineapple and coconut which I mixed with aloe water and cucumber, which is aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar are, are oh so mellow. And together these worked really well. Um, did really enjoy that combination. And like I said, I think I might actually try Mahalo Coconut and Totally Mini next week. Um, mm, I think they work, so yes. Then the last of the mixes I did was clove and cinnamon, which is classic scent of cinnamon sticks fused with cloves. So this is an old one. I've had it since, ooh, December 2020. And I've only used half the bar. It is a really strong scent on its own. Um, it is very, very, very much clove and cinnamon. Um, yeah. So I mixed that with Unicorn Kisses, which is this fancy making fragrance proves that anything's possible with pink watermelon, cherry lollipop, and rainbow rose. And the, like I had this one going on my cast iron wax melter, which sits on top of the wood burning stove. And together, they just make such a great scent. As you've got the kind of spiciness of the clove and cinnamon with the sweetness from Unicorn Kisses. So yeah, that's a really good combination. Then, oh, I love this one. I warmed through some apple cherry strudel, which is Granny Smith apple, cherry and vanilla drizzle, insist on dessert first. And it's such a shame they discontinued this one, although I've had it for a while. But it's just a really nice scent. Reminds me a little of Maraschino Sugar Cookie having smelt this on cold again. But that's probably the like bakery cherry in it. So that's a good one. Then I warmed through some silver bells, which is minted candy canes, dance over warm and welcoming winter pear, 
all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. And this is like a sweet minty. I would say it's put it, yeah, it's. I would like it to candy canes, um, which I think is what it says. Yeah, sweet candy canes. Then I warmed through some suit and tie. So this is crisp apple and vibrant citrus mixed with spirited spices and daring woods. Which is quite a masculine, cloney, fresh scent. It's not as nice as Mediterranean Spa. Um, but it's kind of along those lines. Then I warmed through some pretty and plaid. So this is juniper berries jied with minty fresh wintergreen, festive pine and bright cranberries. Which this is one that's not available in the UK. But if it was, I would certainly buy a few more bars of it. Because I do like this one. I liked it on cold and I really liked it on warm as well. And then, um, as I am, or well, in the process of standing down as a Sensic Consultant, I started warming through some of my old test pots, and by old test pots I mean from, like, I'm not sure which catalogue this was from, but it's certainly not my current um, pile, so it's at least, they're at least six months ago. Um, and actually Polar Bear Hug is obviously last autumn winter so I've had this one at least 12 months which is blackberry jam, caramelised brown sugar, vanilla and amber in a softly romantic scent now Polar Bear Hug is really nice it did used to be Eskimo Kiss um, but they rebranded it and yeah it's a really sweet nice sweet um is it mint no i unless it's because of silver bells i just think it has a ever such a slight hint of mint to it but that's a really nice one and then i also warmed through a test a broken test pot of jade and jasmine which is start fresh with lemon no Start fresh with green lemon and blue jasmine garnished with rosemary in this gem of a fragrance. I do have it in a brick as well. So yeah, <clears throat> I am going to start, like I know before when I've gone away, I've taken tester pots um, to go with my mini warmer, but I thought I might actually start trying to warm through some of them now, um, just because I have literally probably 200 tester pots that I've accumulated over the last four catalogue seasons. So um, <clears throat> yes, I thought let's just start using those up. So that's what I've warmed this week. Um, as I said, a couple of mixes and yeah, I'm just gonna try this one next week. Um, particularly because I have two cubes of each. So yeah, that means I can finish those two bars off and actually I may try and finish off aloe water and cucumber. Ooh, I would at some point be tempted to try mixing all three. So yeah, that might be one for next week. Um, and then that's two more bars finished off and out of my stash ready for my last sense consultant order to be delivered. Um, so yeah, I am trying to make some room for that. So yes, that's, as I said, that's what I've warmed this week. Um, I am waiting, obviously, for my last Sensi order to be delivered. Um, but yeah, so stick around. I will probably start looking at the rebranding in the not too distant future. And um, yeah, join me soon for there is going to be an unboxing video. Um, I have um, ordered some Bath and Body Works candles, which half have been delivered. Um, so I'm waiting till they've all been delivered before I actually pick them up. And then I will do 
an unboxing of those and yes then um, if my sent your order doesn't come before next week um, they will be my what I've warmed Wednesday and my month end empties because next week is the end of November which is really quite scary so <clears throat> thanks for joining me this evening and until next video I will catch you all soon bye Thank you.